I love that you talked about um, looking at outcomes versus hours at a desk. So one of the things I've said before that I find interesting is that when a boss thinks, uh, gosh, I need to take on a new staff member because I don't have enough resources to do it already, we need, we need another person. And it's because they think I need X, Y, and Z done. Mm. These are the tasks that we can't currently manage. So we, we're going to need to take someone on to do those tasks. Yep. But then when it comes to how we remunerate them and how we manage them, we almost forget about those tasks we wanted them to do. And we're like, right, how many hours are you going to sit at that desk for? And that's how I'm going to pay you. Yeah, which just seems really odd, given what you actually employ them in the first place to do. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. And we don't all work the same way and we don't all work in the same time frame. And some of us are really happy to take an extra couple of hours, three, four hours to do a task. But they've had a cup of tea and they've had a bit of a think and, you know, they've just done it in their own pace. And then other people want to whiz through things and then go back and review it. If, if the focus is on that outcome and on uh, and the other part that's worth mentioning is that um, you, you can't micromanage this. You can't expect the outcome to look exactly like it would if you were going to do it because that's, that's never going to happen. Um, so you do have to, and once again, coaching mindset, you have to step back a little bit and allow people to do things in their own way. Um, but once you do that, trying to like trying to use hours as a, as a measure of that it doesn't really make sense it doesn't um yeah it doesn't it doesn't work 